purpose of the activity is for students to discover for themselves. The to discover for themselves means that the middle schoolers are going to be given all this material and they're going to have to find the anatomy and make their own decision, record the data and make their own decisions. You are going to walk around the room and lead them in the right way. Uh, we can get the size of the orbits, uh, the nasal cavity, the length from the, from the uh, front all the way down to the back. You, can see, you can't see on this, but you may be able to see some plates. There are sutures here that separate different plates. It doesn't walk upright. It is hunched over. And contrary to popular belief, the most important thing about this entire project is it doesn't matter how an, a species looks on the TV screen, it did lose weight. So I just want to make sure we understand that. What, what is this? I just gained 70 pounds. I, no TV cameras when we go. All right, I'm, we're excited here. I want to get this thing done. To summarize, it looks like you would need to send your students twice. Yes. And in the first session, half would work with Keeley, half would work with me, about 50 kids in each class. Yep. And the second session, a repeat of that. Yes. Right. Yes. An hour each time. Perfect. And as you know, we've done a manner every year. And I don't have to look at it. Let's see. Let's see. We have some AITE students and their professor, teacher, <laughs> Mr. Alarcon from the physical anthropology class and we're going to be doing a lab on early human skulls. Um, as I warned you, we have few skulls and many students, so again, a reminder to please be careful with these skulls and to please share the work that has to get done. Why are we doing this at all? Why are we doing comparisons? Once this is full, once this chart is full, you're going to do some comparisons, you're going to make some graphs, and you're going to be able to see a visual representation of the differences between these various skulls. Why are we doing this? Anybody know? Take a guess. Uh, Three, oh, two. Because oh, we're learning about early humans. We're learning about early humans origin of man, and the development of man. So you'll see a progression in skull anatomy going from early hominids through homo sapiens. Other than that, we are so pleased to be here. God bless you. Thank you. And knock your socks off. Work together. All right, so which one do you think this is? Oh, oh that's homo sapiens. Yeah. Yeah, homo sapiens. Am I supposed to measure it? Wait, wait, wait. Yep, hold on, we'll see. Is it homo sapiens? Is it homo sapiens? Wait, you take the head off? No, no, no. Just do the measurements. Alright, you look at the corresponding. Look at the answers and then correspond it to the name on the, uh, the number. What's B? <laughs> Look in your sheet. What are the names of bones? We have to do B9. We are pretty sure. We are not sure. Do the same thing. It's 30 centimeters. 30 centimeters? 30! No, it's 30. Okay, where's my face? It's me! I want to see it! Wait, so what was that? The face? Wait, no, yeah. Now we're supposed to measure it. Yeah, so... Do you want to measure it? Yeah. Measure it with the ruler. At first I thought this said detection. Oh, why do you measure it? At first I thought it said detection. So do you want to... Here, use this. So, no, there's no rule. You have to use it again. Wait, but... Next goal thing. Like go against the pencil. And start at zero. Yeah. That's not gonna work. We have to start. And we're gonna try taking off. Wait, what are we measuring now? No, you're Twelve and a half centimeters. How much is that? Six? That's six. Six? Are you sure? Oh no. Wait, it's five point something.